Tableau certification is the process of being deemed by Tableau themselves that you're at a certain skill level. This works great for applying for jobs, but also to see where your gaps are. This entire course has been designed using that outline, plus feedback from students that I've received over the years. Okay, let's talk about Tableau certification. So I get this, I get asked this a lot. And in fact, I have designed this entire course to cover everything about certification. Everything, right? I've gone through each of these things one by one and gone, have I covered every single one of these items? Okay, so basically what you'll be able to do by the end of this course is complete the certification, um, which is just one part of what I want you to learn. Uh, I don't want you to be like, um, I learned this purely to get certified. That is not the point of this course. The point, the true point of this course is to arm you with a complete set of skills, Tableau and beyond, to be successful in a career in data. That's really what it's about. And to kind of give you a really strong foundation to really move forward uh, in your career. But certification, if you want to go down that route, or you really want to test where your level is at, um, this is a good way to do it. So there are three main levels. Uh, we're not going to get into this one. It's really these ones, which are the three main ones. So specialist desktop is kind of your starting point. So here you're going to be doing the more basic things like, you know, line charts and pie charts and, you know, how do you change colors? How do you put labels? Basic. Then you got certified associate. This is when you're starting to use more of the advanced visualizations, things like designing histograms. Okay. And then in the certified professional, this is when you are now problem solving. So they'll give you a situation and you go, well, what's the best way to visualize this problem? Or what do I need to do to clean it, to dig into the data, to understand it more, to tell a compelling story? You know, that's more advanced. So I'm going to go through each one of them uh, and just talk about some of the details uh, and how to do it. So let's open up this first one. So if you come in here, uh, you get the practice questions. Let me just find the link. Oh, so it's this one right here. So the fee is $100 uh, to take the course. So if you come down here and you go download, okay, you're going to get this PDF file. If I scroll down, okay, there's a list. So this, um, this part tells you everything you're, you need to be able to do in uh, for the exam. And I cover all of this, right? Everything from um, understanding how data sets are joined, how to do exports, how to do extracts, how to do package workbooks, um, joins, blends, unions, field management, aliases, strings, data types. I cover all of this. Line charts, like uh, all the different types of charts. So scatter plots, dual stack, chart, even variations of this kind of stuff um, that is not part of the actual workbook. Like things like three-dimensional visualizations, which is not built into Tableau or radar designs, right? That's not built in, right? Or specialized kind of um, animation and all that. We're going to talk about groups. Um, we're going to talk about sets, hierarchies. Let's go up back here. Filters, context filters. We're going to talk about system performance. We'll talk about analytics, computations, bins. Oh, they do do histograms now in the beginner one, right? Um, so you got bins and histograms. You got table calculations. So these are like uh, under advanced table calculations. You got parameters, colors, right? So these are a lot more formatting stuff. Dashboards, understanding format, uh, file format. So a lot is covered, but it's all in the course. So don't worry. Okay, and then there's a bit more here. What is the difference in dimensions and measures, discretes and continuous, aggregation? So you might feel overwhelmed of how much there is to learn, but I'm telling you, this stuff is so easy. It's so easy to learn. It's so much fun. And once you kind of get the basics of it, you can start building some super crazy things just at the beginner level. It's insane. I've seen lawyers who aren't trained in data build visualizations. Man, it's just crazy. It's like... Oh, it's just it's awesome, right? Um, and then here you got some sample questions of um, that you can try and answer. For example, a field that shows average home values, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just kind of practice with this, okay? So that's the first one. Let's go back. Um, let's go to the next one. So you got Tableau Desktop cer Certified Associate. So this is now getting into a little bit more advanced. Let's go download here. This fee is a little bit more. This one's 250. Okay, so we scroll down, you start looking at kind of more of the advanced stuff. So connecting to Tableau server slash Tableau online. So that's talking about published data sets, which again, we'll cover 
blending. We're going to talk about pivots, data interpreter for data cleansing. I'm sure there's the word pivots going to be here. Yeah, yeah, pivots. Um, extracts with multiple tables, blends, joins, cross database joins, relationships, custom splitting. For the, man, it's funny. Like when, when you see it all written out, you're like, man, there's so many things you can do with Tableau. It's incredible. Uh, histograms, tree maps, uh, also known as hierarchy maps. Uh, you got Again, explaining the difference between discrete and continuous. Uh, bullet graphs, again, not built in. You have to design that. Scatter, box plots, right? Calculations. Ooh, this is a big one. Level of detail calculations, right? Fixed, include, exclude, all that kind of stuff. You got panning, map control, lasso, geographic search, and so on. You've got analytic functions, things like reference lines, trend lines, trend model, forecasting, drag and drop analytics, insight, data. It's, there are some things not even included here. So there's way more um, that you learn in this course than actually what you need here for the course. So build dashboards, right? Describing, publishing, and so on. Okay, so a little bit more advanced, right? And then the last one is the certified professional. Okay. So this one's a little bit more expensive. Not as many people will be taking this one. Um, and it is difficult. And I would suggest you do not tackle this until you know how to build solutions. Um, I don't want to use the word scientifically, but I don't, I don't know any other, I uh, don't know a better word, but basically how to go from someone talking to you and say, hey, I have a problem, this and that, this and that, this and that, right? And then you be able to scientifically approach the problem, gathering the raw information, looking at it objectively, analyzing and testing different situations, really understanding the data. And then from there, being able to articulate and visualize the problem, working with clients to actually get to the root of the issue, right? Because sometimes when people go to you about a problem, it's not actually the true problem, Right? So working with clients and being able to solve those problems. So that's probably why this is 600 because it's far more advanced. So I would say give this, give yourself a year to two years um, before tackling this. However, if you are brave, go for it. Okay, so let's check out the prep guide. This one looks a little bit different to the others. If you go straight away to the first page or wait, where's the second page? No, here, right? Uh, exam process, practice, where's the part I'm thinking of? Okay, so here, so they give you an actual problem. So they'll go, the following view uses the orders, sample, super source, subset, Excel, data connection in the starter work build, rebuild the view so the visualization best answers the question. For each region, how do the sales for each state compare? To better understand in each state, identify any states with high or low profit. So it's only like, one or two sentences, but here it's going to take you quite considerable effort to go, well, what's the best way to do it and you brainstorm and you kind of go through it okay again you will be able to do this by the end of this course because this is really what i'm trying to get you to how do you take a problem and solve it and bring the the stakeholders along so you can actually create business change right that is it okay for the documentation on certification bye